This question is about complex numbers and asks you various different things to multiply, divide them and find the argument. Let's start with part A. We are given that a complex number Z1 is equal to 1 subtract i and we're asked to find the argument of that complex number. Now, always draw yourself a picture when working out the argument or the modulus. It's much more straightforward. Now the complex number 1 subtract i, here is the real axis, here is the imaginary axis, 1 subtract i is 1 across and 1 down. Okay, 1 across and it's 1 down. So our complex number uh, could be drawn as an arrow from the centre as follows. Now, the argument will be this angle here. Okay, so we could work out that angle. So that's what we're trying to work out. And so we can write down using trigonometry that tan of that angle is the opposite, which is 1, divided by the adjacent, which is 1, so it's 1. So theta is therefore the inverse tan of 1. Keeping your calculator in radius mode, you get theta as pi by 4. But that's not the end of the story. That's one of your marks. Do remember... Um, for in a complex, in an argon diagram as follows, um, theta is 0 is the x-axis. If you go this way, you have a negative argument. If you go this way, you have a positive argument. As such, this angle here would be positive pi by 2. This angle here would be positive pi. And going backwards that way, this angle would be negative pi by 2. And this could be thought of as negative pi. Okay, so therefore this angle here, you're going back pi by 4, so it must be negative pi by 4. So the argument of Z1 is actually negative pi by 4. Now, in the next part, you're given a new complex number Z2 is 3 plus 4i. And you are asked, and this is very important, to find in the form A plus IB Z1 times Z2. So, Z1, we said, was 1 subtract i, so we're doing Z1 multiplied by Z2. Now, Z1 was 1 subtract i, and Z2, we have up here, is 3 plus 4i. All you have to do here is multiply out. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, 1 multiplied by 4i is 4i. This way around, negative 4 times 3 is negative, uh, sorry, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3i, and negative i multiplied by 4i is negative 4i squared. Now, do remember i squared is negative 1, so therefore this term here, negative 4i squared, must be 4. Okay, because negative 4 times negative 1 must be positive 4. So therefore, 3 add the 4 must be 7. And 4i subtract 3i is simply 1i. And we've done that part for two marks. Part C, we're asked to work out z1 divided by z2. Okay, so z, sorry, z2 divided by z1. z2 divided by z1 must be 3 plus 4i over 1 subtract i. Now, you should remember when doing a division of complex numbers, it's sort of equivalent in real numbers to rationalizing thirds. We would we always multiply the top and bottom of the fraction by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So we're going to multiply by 1 plus i and we're going to multiply by 1 plus i. Now you should also know to make your life easier to multiply the bottom out, if you take any complex number and you multiply it by its complex conjugate like we're doing on the denominator, you always get a squared plus b squared, always. So in this case here, a, the real part, is 1, and the number in front of i is also 1, so when we multiply that out on the bottom, we're going to get 2. And on the top, it's just a case of multiplying this out. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times i is 3i, 4i times 1 is 4i, and 4i times i is a uh, plus 4i squared. Now remember, i squared is negative 1, so 4 times negative uh, 1 is negative 4, 
So this would be 3 subtract 4, which is negative 1, plus 7i over 2. Now very careful here to go back to your question. It must be in that form. So divide each component by the 2. It's negative 1 half plus 7 over 2i, and you have it in the form requested, and you're done.